Hello everybody. This hey everyone. is Jake and Emily. And today, pause. Forgot this part. Today is March 24th and it is a Wednesday. All day. Yeah. If you're not watching this on Wednesday, March 24th, it's a different day at that point. Um, today we're going to be reading um, about Samson and Delilah. It's Judges 16 verses 1 through 6. One day Samson went to Gaza where he saw a prostitute. He went in to spend the night with her. The people of Gaza were told, Samson is here. So they surrounded the place and lay in wait for him all night at the city gate. They made no move during the night, saying, at dawn, we'll kill him. But Samson lay there only until the middle of the night. Then he got up and took hold of the doors of the city gate, together with the two posts, and tore them loose, bar and all. He lifted them to his shoulders and carried them to the top of the hill that faces Hebron. Some time later, he fell in love with a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. The rulers of the Philistines went to her and said, See if you can lure him into showing you the secret of his great strength and how we can overpower him so we may tie him up and subdue him. Each of us will give you 1,100 shekels of silver. So Delilah said to Samson, Tell me the secret of your great strength and how you can be tied up and subdued. It's a fun one. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> so one of the things I really take away from this um, passage is that, you know, Delilah is just really being ruled by her sin for the money. She's being super greedy, even though um, she knows that what she's doing is wrong. The Philistines, you know, they come to her, they're offering her all this money to basically help them capture him. Don't get me wrong, that's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Like 1,100 <laughs> shekels of silver. Yeah. I, yeah, it's, I, I don't want to do the conversion right now, but uh, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of money that would weigh her down. Yes, yeah. yes. But obviously, instead of doing the right thing, she's going to take that money anyway. And she's kind of giving in to that sin. Mm -hmm. Which makes me think of another woman that we kind of have read about in the Bible, which is the woman who anoints Jesus' feet. And so, as you guys know, she's also a sinner. But she kind of makes the right choice and she decides that she's going to start following Jesus. Right. And did you want to say something else? No, you're good. I always cut her off. <laughs> um, I think when you look at the two in comparison, um, it really talks a lot about um, the character of the person and not yeah. just the circumstances. Um, we know the back history of them. My daughter is coming out here right now. Um, but we know the back history of the two and that they are, um, hold on girl, <laughs> that they are both sinners. Um, and that they kind of have this point where, what are you going to do next type thing? Um, and they... <laughs> Stay over there. She's wondering if she should cut them on the camera. Come on, it's fine. <laughs> so we get the focal point of the two and you know, what's, what should they do next? And it's really bright, isn't it? Yeah. And um, so the... Delilah, she she took the easy way out, in my opinion. Um, yeah. She she took the money, um, she made it easy, um, and I mean, don't get me wrong, that's a lot of money, like I said, but she took the easy way out, and uh, <laughs> and she took the money and ran, basically. Um, whereas the woman who anointed Jesus' feet, um, she was a sinner, she had a past, mm -hmm. um, but she didn't let that weigh her down. And she made the conscious choice that, you know, this may be a turning point in my life where yeah. I can start making the right decisions. Yeah. She chooses to kind of change the way she's going and have a better future. Right. And but, I mean, in the end, obviously, Jesus chooses to forgive her sins. Right. Yeah. And, you know, I think that speaks to each one of us now as well, which is, you know, all of us have sinned in the past. All of us have made mistakes. All of us usually can think of something and be like, you know, I wish I would have done this differently. But we shouldn't let that weigh us down. We should, um, we should try and figure out how we're going to, <laughs> how we're going to, uh, to take the right path and, uh, do it, do what God wants us to do, make the right choices. Um, and so I think with that, I, we're going to pray mm -hmm. and then, uh, we're going to try and get this one back in bed. <laughs> so you want to pray with us? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Dear God, Thank you for being for, there for us, um, no matter what our past is, no matter what we've been through. Um, thank you for 
for forgiving us of our sins and helping us, uh, helping to be our guiding light, um, knowing that, you know, no matter what we've done, no matter what we will do in the future, um, you're always there to forgive us, to make sure that, uh, that we follow you and that you make sure that, uh, that we do the right thing and make the world a better place. In your name, amen. Amen. Bye. Bye, guys. Time for bed.